Hey, welcome back. Last time when we left off, we had this little, our first app running, our Hello World app, or Hello Fredricate, essentially, um, up and running. And it had the, you know, just default input fields of username and pass in here. And you could actually come in here and type something if you wanted to. That's where we left off last, last time. And, you know, the reason why I just went ahead and did it this way was because I wanted you to see an actual working application, how easy it actually is to put something together pretty quickly. Um, and this, in this tutorial, it's going to be kind of more like the meat and potatoes of what's actually going on over here in the IDE and talk about all these different things and what they do and what they mean. So when we have a look at the IDE over here and you know, our Xcode, essentially, that's an integrated development environment. Um, developing environment is essentially uh, what ID stands for and you know Xcode is just the actual name so when I say ID I'm just referring to our coding environment now up top here we have our toolbar which has a lot of handy um, tasks that we use a lot so it, it's good to have things up here and you can and actually customize this and put things up here uh, as, you, as you please but right now it's pretty good for for starting out over here to the left we have groups and files to the right this pane right here is called our detailed view and down here this is called our editor now th there's a lot going on if we look at our we launched our uh, app before and we hit build and run and that's actually what ended up building this now we have all these other folders in here these files are just placed inside these folders and if we start breaking out over in the groups and files pane over here um, these different things you'll start to see that they all exist over here see so, hello fredricate app delegate dot h it's right there and so on you know all these correspond to these folders over here so when we get more into writing classes which we have yet to do because it's been pretty straightforward this is where you're going to want to put your classes and feel free to make subfolders underneath here to organize your classes and keep them organized so the next folder that we're going to come to is other sources and if you notice that when we actually we don't have to twirl these down every time if we just click other sources it comes up in our detailed view over here and if we click on one of these files you'll notice this is the code the code actually comes up that we could manipulate now we're not going to modify any of this code this right here this dot pch is just a pre-compiled header and essentially what that is is that's just calling um, essentially external frameworks to be loaded in that aren't included in our frameworks already and this main file right here this is just our main application file uh, and we're not going to really need to touch this or edit this at any point in time so we're just going to leave that be and you know, when we do need to modify this in, in later tutorials we'll we'll retouch on them and go over them as well so our next folder here is the resources folder. Now, you got a couple different things going on here. Well, what the resource folder is going to be good for, it's going to be good for holding things like your icon file, images, um, properties list like you see here, uh, sounds, a anything graphical of that nature is going to be all held under the resources folder. And what inside the resources folder, what these three files do, these two right here, uh, oops, these two, come on, there we go. These two files right here, uh, we'll, we'll talk more about when we actually go into uh, Interface Builder, which we saw last time, it was the drag and drop uh, application that allowed us to make that quick turnaround of our Hello World application, or Hello Fredricate application. So we'll talk, we'll talk more about these in a minute. The next file right here, the plist, which is just stands for property list gives you all kinds of information gives you all kinds of information <clears throat> excuse me about different uh, properties within the application that you need you know what type of language are you using you can switch it from you know English to Canadian or whatever you want it to be you get the hang of it nothing nothing foreign here shouldn't be so the next thing is is frameworks. Now, what frameworks are is they're they're a library that uh, contain code as well, and they contain also resources such as image and sound files. And 
Any framework or library that you add to this folder will be linked to your application, um, and your code will be able to, and your code will be able to use objects, you know, your functions and resources contained with in that framework or library. Uh, the most common frameworks are already included, so we're not really going to need to link to much, you know, really anything I can think of off the top of my head. But if we do, we'll go ahead and add that in at that particular point in time. So, you know, the next thing we're going to come to is products. And if we break this open, we're going to see this is the hello app, and this is what we actually hit build and run before. Let's just do it again. And this actually launched our app. Remember doing that in the other tutorial. So this is just again just a compiled version of everything up here. And that's what you get under products. Just it's the completed, ready to go thing. And if you one gotcha so to speak is some people notice that this is in red and they can't figure out why this is highlighted in red and that just means it can't find the underlying file on the system so you know the reason it, it makes sense because if you haven't run this at least once the file isn't there so what you're gonna need to do if it's red for some reason just go ahead and build and run it and it'll, it'll go away and fix itself so now that you've got like a good understanding of you know what our groups and files folders our detailed uh, view pane right here all, all these different our detailed view and our editor do you know it's it's pretty straightforward nothing should have been terribly hard here in the next tutorial we're going to touch on interface builder and we're going to talk about what some of those files actually were what they mean and do and we're going to take it from there and keep on building hope you enjoyed this tutorial we'll see you next time